I think we might need to pre-drill our wood. Y'all would have probably unsubscribed. <laughs> but, great. I think I done messed up. Maybe there's a reason why no one burns not worth the effort. Everybody, this is Joe on the Okie Woodsman channel. I recently asked a question about whether or not sycamore was a good firewood. Well, today we're gonna get started on answering that question. We're not gonna get a definitive answer yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to split this without the mechanical help of a splitter. I've heard that this stuff is gonna be a bear to split, so let's find out. Go ahead and select a, uh, a good chopping block, and I think this one will be great because it's got, well, with the exception that the top isn't flat. But let's see here. That's not good. This don't go in easy. There we go, let's see if that works. All right. I've gone ahead and selected my chopping block, and it was a, a limb wood or a, uh, a crotch piece. This is gonna be darn near impossible to split with an ax or a maul, and so I'm gonna go ahead and use this to cut on for now. I say we start off with the small one. Let's see how this goes. I'm not quite sure how this is gonna go. Let me first give it a shot with my double bit here. Uh-oh. Okay, also another thing to add, last night we were down at about 20 degrees. I was kind of thinking that that might help me out because I've had, on oak at least, I've had it be better to split uh, when, it's, when it's frozen. This is the splitting side of the double bit. Let me show everybody what's happening here. I feel like I'm making some headway actually. I've hit, and this is a small piece. You can see there's kind of like a little bit of a crack going on. It feels hard, it feels like it doesn't want to give. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Let me move on to a mole here. Get some more weight behind me. That's not good. All right here, let me try with the wooden handled mole. Oh my gosh. This is a small piece. Hit the side. Okay, let me hit the sides on it. This is not going well. That's not cool. People warned me that the sycamore was tough to split. All right, go down. I really do have two problems of the day. I can't get this to split worth a darn. And then in the midst of me running this mic, the uh, magnet that was holding it here, cause this is where it sounds best, is simply not strong enough to go through my sweatshirt. So I gotta figure out something a bit different. I've seen people wear them on hats. I've seen all sorts of things. This makes it sound so much different. I might have to clip it on there. Let's see what happens. My voice is likely to sound far more muffled. All right, let's see here. What am I gonna do, everybody? My problem is, is getting the wood to stay where it's supposed to be. This is not good. Not good at all. This is a small piece of wood. I'm gonna edit out some of this. This is gonna be painful. All right, that's not going well. We're gonna try a different way. 
I think we might need to pre-drill our wood. What do you think? Will pre-drilling do it? I really didn't want to do this. I don't want to run a saw to split wood, everyone. I do it, I don't mind doing it, but I really wanted to be able to bust this stuff up. It's not looking promising right now. Cold. This is really not what I wanted, but I brought the saws over here just in case. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it doesn't hurt my, well, it does kind of hurt my feelings that I can't split it. Either I'm not strong enough or this wood is not easy. This is reminding me a little bit of uh, my experience with Elm years ago. To be bluntly honest with you, my first Echo CS310 was purchased because, uh, well, I picked up a whole bunch of Elm firewood off the side of the road, or someone had a sign that said free, and uh, previously I had just hand split pine and oak. Well, uh, I brought it all home, and believe it or not, I bucked it up with a handsaw at first. <laughs> I wish I was making videos then y'all would have probably unsubscribed <laughs> but anyway I, I cut I literally cut some elm up in um, in firewood sized chunks with a uh, hand saw like a pruning saw from like Harbor Freight and then and then I went to Home Depot and uh, and bought an Echo CS310 stock you know 14 inch bar and I was scared to death to run it <laughs> That was that was a little bit of time to go, but anyway, this is a little bit reminding me of that, but I will tell you that um, this is a little bit different than the Elm, and the reason why it's different than the Elm, it's different than the Elm because I couldn't get a wedge to stick at all on the Elm, so I have a little bit of hope. Now, what I've done is uh, I've pre-drilled, pre-drilled the wood. I've kind of bored in as far as I could go with that 14-inch bar. I'm going to go ahead and throw this. I'm going to put it on the ground. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and stick my wedge in it and try to crack it that way. Let's see what happens. Do you all have faith that this might actually work? Let's see. Yeah, these pieces with crotches, there's no way on earth I'm going to be able to split those. There's, it's not going to happen. Yeah, these limb pieces are no good. <sighs> Uh-oh, I'm, I'm scared. I got a pile of wood here that I'm gonna have to cut up with a chainsaw or borrow a splitter for again. Remember, this is wood for personal use for me. This is not how I thought the video would go. I mean, I, I guess I, I kind of assumed it might because I did bring some saws. I wasn't hoping. I was hoping I could bust this stuff out. That might be my money ticket right there. It's popping as we speak. All right, so I have another predicament right here. My next predicament, I mean, you can hear this thing popping. Probably can't because I'm on mic. I can probably add the camera or the camera audio. You can see this thing's cracking as we talk. That was the money ticket, okay? Pre-drilling the wood was what was needed. No doubt about it. Now I have an issue, right? This sucker is buried in there. 
that ain't coming out uh, unless I split this further. This kind of does remind me of elm right here. That's not good. I'm just gonna just try to get it in there. Oh gosh, was that a stupid move? I should not do that. Oh no. Am I at the point of no return? Shoot, bad deal. I think I done messed up. <laughs> oh man, look at this. That's just like Elm. Well, I officially have an answer to the question that I asked, but some of you may not have. As you can see, I bored in from here to here. I was able to grab a wedge and start busting it up. The problem is, is that the wedge wasn't enough to actually split the wood. I'm not gonna be able to split these by hand. There's absolutely no way, I mean, I can wedge them. I can wedge them if I can figure out. Now, what we're gonna find out is if I throw this on my splitting block, now that this is split like this, can I can I split this now? I have a deep suspicion that the answer is gonna be no, because uh, the, the grain was like crisscrossed like this. As you watched it split, this is an incredibly strong tree. Uh, you don't see many of these, you see them busted out. Most of the time they blow over. They normally don't crack out. Sometimes they do. All right, well, <laughs> let's put it on the splitting block and see what happens. Some of my fans are gonna be like, oh man, I feel for you, Oki. Some of the people that don't know me is gonna be like saying, this guy's an idiot. Well, that could be. All right. Maybe there's a reason why no one burns sycamore. Not worth the effort. Have you ever had what you thought was a great idea and you wonder why people don't do it? And you thought, man, I'm smart. I'm smart, I'm not gonna let, let these sycamores go to waste in the field. Well, I think this is the reason. I honestly think this is the reason. This stinks right here. Oh my gosh. Don't fall. <laughs> Not working. I brought these cute little axes out here. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Let's flip it over. See if I can get it. Is this worth it? Absolutely not. I'm tired, guys. I've only gotten, I haven't even split a piece, honestly. All right. I hit it right where I needed to. It's not me, it's, it's, it's the wood. I don't like to blame other circumstances, but I have to. All right, here. Guys, look at this crud. Not good. All right, let's keep going. All right, this is that elm type thing I've remembered and had nightmares about. Everybody, if you are hand splitting, don't, don't bother with sycamore unless it's all you've got and you don't mind cutting it with a chainsaw. Uh, I'm gonna try to split it one more time because this is too big of a piece. Now, someone did mention, uh, I think it was Crazy Feller. He had mentioned, he said, uh, because Sycamore has a faster burn rate, you might, or a lower BTU or however you wanna say it, you might consider leaving the chunks larger because they're gonna be lighter 
and also uh, that way you're not feeding it so much. I'm gonna try to just split it just for video's sake. So I don't know if Frozen helped or not or hurt. I don't know. Let me tell you, this wood is actually extremely light. Structurally, I'm not an expert on this, but structurally, I don't think it's gonna make a bit of difference. You know, some wood, you can chip off the outside. Being that the grain is intertwined, it does, I believe it's not gonna matter that the fact that this is quartered. I don't think it gets any strength, you know. I don't think there's any way to work this down more efficiently. Let's make this easier. There we go. Let's see about this. This is ridiculous. I can officially say that if you're gonna hand split your uh, sycamore, uh, don't cut it up for firewood. Unless you wanna chainsaw it. That's unbelievable. That is absolutely unbelievable. It's popping. You hear this thing popping? Mind blowing. I should have my safety glasses on everybody. The worst thing to say is to say that and then not put it on. It's pretty dumb to not put them on after saying that. All right, everybody, that's no bueno. Absolutely no bueno. It's not worth it. It's simply not worth it. I've never had to cut wedges out before. Everybody, I am 42 minutes into shooting video. Granted, not all of that was me swinging the mall. Essentially, I've learned something. I've got a big pile of wood that I have to cut up. I'm gonna try one more thing just for kicks and giggles. We'll see how it works. It's gonna look really weird, but we're gonna try it. I'm gonna try something just to see what it does. Let's try again. That's not helping at all. I'm gonna try the weird one, everybody. What the heck? Let's see what happens with this. Everybody's seen one of these, right? This is my neighbor's. I hope it doesn't break. I don't want to break this. 
fill if this breaks i apologize i'm you know what the head is starting to come come loose on it i'm not gonna swing it anymore it seemed like it was sinking pretty good it was sinking in there nice let's try this guy oh my gosh that was a bad hit not working oh dang that's why it's not good good not to have wood Here I am again in that predicament. My wedges are all the way through, everybody. It's all the way stinking through. This reminds me so much of Elm. I never got this far with Elm, but this is not, it's no good. I've been out here a long time, made no progress essentially. I threw everything I have at that wood. I'm at like an, I'm at like an hour and 20 minutes of filming, and I officially have that piece of wood, that pe those pieces of wood, that and that. Uh, using manual manual efforts. Uh, this is this is a chainsaw wood, chainsaw or splitter. That's it. Absolutely. Uh, so. It doesn't answer the question yet of whether or not sycamore is good for firewood. It is absolutely 100% not good for firewood if all you want to do is hand split wood or wedge wood apart. It, unless you want to view it as a workout experience and a challenge to see if you can split one within five hits or something, crack it within five hits, it's not a good wood for that. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and be done with this part here. Uh, refocus on this is this is not going to get hand split i'm going to chainsaw it noodle it apart okay i'm going to probably use my 620 with a 20 inch bar on it i'll probably just come over here and do it right in the pile just cut these suckers up into blocks and uh and that's it <laughs> well uh, <laughs> Are you officially dumber for watching that video? <laughs> I feel dumber for making it. Okie Woodsman here, I thank you for being here. And uh, guys, we did hit 7,500 subs yesterday, and that is exciting. I'm uh, waiting for my video to get uh, 100 thumbs ups, and then I can go ahead and give away that, I can go ahead and give away that chainsaw sharpener. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and actually put a file on, um, or a grinder, I should say, on a couple saws. So. I appreciate you very much. I'm doing some tests on a slightly different grinder and that one's gonna be given away soon as well. So hang tight, wait for the next one. And uh, thank you everybody that watches. Enjoy your day and be safe.